Hello everybody! After last week's failure, I am back and I'm super happy to be making videos for you guys once again. It is officially one of my favorite times of year, that being second spring. So without any further ado, I'm gonna head out to the spot that we're gonna be hitting today and we're gonna get started. Alright, no sooner than we arrived do we find our first snake with a massive, massive food item in him. This is a tiny, tiny little wandering garter snake that I just found under a discarded balloon of all things. Um, this guy might be newborn, but I'm willing to bet that he's the product of last year. Um, absolutely cool. Um, these guys are super common. Probably going to be the most common snake through here. So um, there's a couple boards up here that I'm going to go check out. Basically the plan for today is we're going to be flipping things, and then later on we're going to go try and cruise some Massasaugas. So um, I'm going to document this guy, get some photos real quick, put him back under his balloon, and we'll keep moving. There's just butterflies everywhere this time of year. Look at this big guy. He's a little damaged from the storm last night, but not looking too, too bad. That's awesome. All right, well, attendance at that last spot was downright pitiful. Um, I've moved to a spot that we've hit earlier in the summer um, where we turned up a milk snake. Um, I'm trying to get another milk today because a milk in September uh, you know, one more milk in the year is always, always preferred. So um, we're going to get up and hike some habitat. After this, we're going to go head down and start cruising for some Massasaugas. But first things first, let's go try and flip a milk. All right, well, flipping along a beautiful section of habitat here. And ba-boom, there it is. There is, uh, and he's going to, you are not good at that. Here is our first milk snake flipped. Ow. Since we were at this spot earlier in the year. This is an awesome looking snake. The milks in this area certainly are not the best, and biting again, certainly are not the best looking snakes in the world, but wow. I didn't think we were gonna see anything just cause I wasn't finding anybody under rocks, not even bull snakes or racers, and then flipped one and sure enough, there is yet another milk. And it's funny, I uh, haven't flipped one since we were here in June and we flipped one here. So really clean patterning on that snake. Um, that's not a look that you see through a lot of Colorado that kind of feels to me more like Kansas there, but what a good snake. As you can see, you start losing that pale milk snake influence here. Um, the, the black there does not bite off quite so much, but yeah, another milk. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There seems to be a pretty healthy population here because I've got them within, uh, I don't know, 25 or 30 minutes both times I've come here. So um, hopefully this will be a new spot that we can hit every spring. And as we can see here, sometimes in the fall and continue finding snakes. I've never really gotten down with the uh, fall time milk snake action here in Colorado, but that was a fatal mistake because this is awesome. We've only really even been here about, uh, I don't know, 25 minutes, maybe 30, and already got our first milk in hand. Really, really glad we were able to come out and get some of these because tonight may be really slow, so if it is, we still had ourselves a good day just by seeing this. But I still have plenty more habitat to hit here, so I'm going to uh, photograph this guy miserably because it's horribly sunny right now, uh, and then release him back under his rock, and we will keep on rolling. Whew, I really like the, the patterning on the snakes that are here. They have a real western Kansas-y look to them. Really, really classic. Central Plains milk snake look. So, gonna photograph this guy. Super stoked that we were able to find this snake because honestly, I felt like we were taking a shot in the dark even trying for milks right now, but um, I'm sure glad we took that shot because obviously it paid off. We struck gold. God, that patterning is so cool. He's not the most classically beautiful milk as I mentioned, but uh, that patterning there is just wonderful. You can imagine if this snake was younger and had uh, nicer reds on him, that would be a real stunning snake with that patterning there. But um, as I mentioned, we still can turn up another one and hopefully he will be more stunning than this one. So um, I'm gonna take my photos and then we will put this snake back under his rock and get back to business. Definitely a lot to appreciate there. That's a cool looking snake. Anyways, we're just gonna let it go back up under its rock here. And we're going to keep moving. This is unfortunately an all too common sight for us this summer. Uh, anytime we go to Massasauga land, it seems like there are giant storms around us. 
threatening to uh, screw up our night. But no other snakes at that spot, so we are currently heading to where we will be cruising for Massasaugus tonight. Um, temperatures are still good, but if this hits our roads, we're going to be uh, pretty out of luck. So um, we're going to get there as fast as we possibly can and hopefully start to see some shortly. Moving out of the storm, I think this is moving east, so it should leave us be if it continues that way, but God only knows with these storms out here. So I'm going to keep rolling, get to our spot shortly, and let's start finding some snakes. Need a hook for this one. There is snake number one since we switched spots. That is a prairie rattlesnake. Um, I'm gonna move this guy over off the road just in case a car comes and then we will continue talking about him there. A little TLC with these guys goes a long way. He's just letting me know I'm not here to mess around. Man, as common as these guys are, never gets old. Look at that thing. That thing is just beautiful. <laughs> a lot of herpers don't understand why Colorado herpers love prairie rattlesnakes so much, but man, what a cool snake that is. And also, out here in some beautiful, beautiful habitat, as you can see, we got another storm that might threaten us, but right now, it's not the least of my concerns. Absolutely beautiful snake um, on some absolutely beautiful roads and some beautiful habitat back here. So, gonna keep on moving after logging this snake um, and a few quick cell phone photos. Hey kid, as predicted, closer to our next road is another one of these guys. These guys are so common down here, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, through a lot of their range in eastern Colorado, these guys are actually in decline, but um, not here. Here they are doing just okay. Check out that beautiful red eye. God, I'm so lucky to be able to see these guys as much as I... Oh, you're going to come out and say hi to us. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at that cool face. Now you can also get a good look at the patterning there on the back of the neck, which is an absolutely beautiful feature on these guys that um, they don't always show you. So it's nice that this guy did, but still just a box turtle. Gonna move him across the road after a couple of photos and we will continue moving. All right, buddy, let's get you on your way. Let's see if he'll do some crawling action. No. All right, see you later. What have we got here? little radix sure enough hi there you're stinky so I'm not gonna pick you up that is our first plains garter snake of the trip really small one um, these guys are closely related to that wandering garter snake that we found earlier but different species I'm actually helping out with research for these guys um, I'm not sure that this one will make it into the project because it's not somewhere that we have a permit for. But a little plains garter snake, um, I thought it was a Massasauga just because it was a small snake stretched out in the road, but another snake for the night, never a bad thing. Gonna log him on my app and uh, get a few in-hand shots and keep on rolling. <laughs> Hi, kid. Well, there you guys go. That is a western, uh, formerly a desert Massasauga. Whoa, settle down there, kiddo. These guys are so unruly, not a super fun uh, thing to deal with when it's in the road and they don't want to sit still like that, but awesome snake. These guys are so cool. As soon as I saw him, I saw his little head sticking right up in the air and instantly knew what was waiting for me. Pay attention to that head there. See that? Right there. He twitches his head. There he did it again. Um, that is something that can be used to tell these apart from prairie rattlesnakes. Um, these guys, that's like a defense mechanism for them. Um, super strange behavior there. Not many other species do that. Um, although some king snakes and other colubrids will do it, which is really, really strange. Seeing as how I have a new flash diffuser and it is cold enough to assume that this may be our last snake of the night, um, I am going to go photograph this guy and then we will keep talking about him in just a moment. This certainly takes a little bit of the stress out of tomorrow for us because, uh, Anything from here on out is just progress. These guys are one of my favorite snakes in the state of Colorado. I think they should be one of everybody's favorite snakes that herps here. Um, and I, I really honestly think that they, they are one of the favorites here. Um, such a special snake in such a special place. And uh, in a lot of their range, they're not doing so hot. So uh, to be able to come out here and see good numbers of these guys and, you know, get to enjoy time with them is... Uh, 
nothing but the best. This guy's calming down nicely, as you can see, just slowly making his way across the road. Um, it is cooling down, though, so let's keep rolling after um, saying goodbye to this guy. We will see what we find next. For some reason, this guy decided that it was a good time to be sitting out in the road. I'm sure you guys all know, but that is a tiger salamander, and a really, really nice one at that. I love it when they get that black and the yellow like that. I thought I saw one earlier and I didn't stop and now I really really regret it because it was probably another salamander but god these guys are so cool. Found in every county in the state of Colorado, found in most counties in the United States. Just a wonderful wonderful thing to be able to see these guys and I don't need to tell you guys this but this is one of my favorite species on earth. So absolutely awesome um, it is getting a little late and I would like to be up kind of early tomorrow to road cruise so um, I'm just gonna take a few cell phone shots of this guy and then move him across the road look at that thing god I love Colorado just because I get to see these guys although I could see these guys in just about any state so I suppose I should say I love the United States because these guys are awesome one of my favorite species that we're lucky to have here and he's being so good too he's not even moving <laughs> that's great here's yet another tiger salamander around the same size um, these guys are presumably either new metamorphos or metamorphos last year maybe the year before but probably last year or this year awesome well you know what we're gonna do just gonna log him take some photos and keep moving the view from camp is not bad Okie doke, good morning everybody. After waking up this morning, I took down camp, had a breakfast bar for myself, uh, put air in one of my tires, and we are back out on the roads. The plan for this morning is basically the same as it was for last night. We are going to get out and try and road cruise some Massasaugas, maybe some hognose snakes. After that, uh, I have some research that I'm going to be working on here today, so we're going to get to that later, and then we are going to conclude the night in Otero County, where we are going to be looking for king snakes, long nose, and all of the awesome stuff that's down there. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it, and let's start finding some snakes. We've got a signaler in the road. That's what you call a sign of things to come. <laughs> An extremely dirty and muddy ornate box turtle. I've said many times on this vlog, this is a species that I consider to be an indicator. Um, if these guys are moving around, it usually leads to me to believe that the snakes are going to start doing the same. It's right about 72 degrees right now. Absolutely beautiful out. But I'm just going to move this guy over here. This is the way he was heading. When we move them across like this, the goal is always to keep this beautiful guy from having to be out in the road ever again so that he doesn't run the risk of... Uh, getting hurt or getting hit by a car, which is uh, why it's always a great practice to move them the way they were headed. There are three certainties in life. Death, taxes, and finding ornate box turtles in the sand hills of eastern Colorado. Awesome. Well, you know what we're going to do. All right, everybody. So, um, no more snakes on the road. Actually, none at all this morning. But um, right now, we're getting started on some research. What I'm going to be doing is just walking through this little wetland over here there's a really small stream um, trying to turn up some plains garter snakes we have collected exactly one on about 11 hours of work um, which is horrible horrible numbers so um, we're gonna be walking this habitat hopefully turning some up and taking some data all right right there yet another leopard frog I'm going to try to get this one it is not easy because every step I take I just go knee deep in this mud. Ready? Wow, that was easy. All right, so next find of the day is a plains leopard frog found here in this little wetland area. Um, these guys are pretty cool, in decline through most of their range in Colorado, and this uh, wetland here has been ravaged by cattle, and it seemed to me like they, I wouldn't be seeing any, but sure enough, there's a plains leopard frog. I'm sorry. I... I'm really struggling. Anyways, um, I'm gonna keep walking here. Again, goal is plains garters, trying to get some data going on those. Haven't seen any today yet, so hopefully we get one soon. Just a few moments later, we have the second individual that I have captured for this study. This is a little neonate plains garter snake. Um, at least I think it's a neonate. I suppose it could be last year's young. Um, I'm not gonna mark it either way, just because it is so, so small that 
um, you know, marking, we have to mark right there above the vent. And as you can see, that thing is tiny. Or you can actually see his egg scar there. Got my data collected. So I'm going to release this guy. And we're gonna keep on walking. I found him right here. You know, we were filming right there. So um, there's probably a pretty abundant population here. So hopefully we can get another one or two. All right, kid. Thank you very much for your valuable data. We'll see you later. All right, everybody. So after that Plains Garter Snake, I switched locations. We are now in the Promised Land in southeastern Colorado. Um, I made what can be considered a strategic mistake uh, by coming it down here and trying to cruise the roads while the tarantula people are down here. I have not seen a single thing since we've been down here. I've been cruising about an hour, but it's mostly been me jumping around trying to get to a road that is not completely swamped with people. But I found that road, so we're going to road cruise here a little bit. And then once the sun goes down, we're going to do the same old, same old. Look for king snakes, hopefully turn up some other stuff. So um, I'm going to cut this. We're going to start looking and hopefully turn something up soon. Well, I mentioned this a moment ago, but that is an Oklahoma brown tarantula. This area is famous for the tarantula migrations that happen early every fall. What this guy is doing, this is a male, only the males do this. They walk up to two miles, which for you and I may not seem like much, but for a tarantula, that is quite a ways. So he's just gonna go about his way. I hope he finds a mate and makes a lot of babies because it's always cool to see these guys down here. Kid. Oh, getting upset. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. First snake of the night is a line snake. These guys are awesome. I absolutely love line snakes. Um, we've seen a few down here this year um, and a few up north this year, but this is my first one from this county, if I'm not mistaken. This is about as nondescript as they come, although he was being grumpy with me a minute ago. Let me see if I can make that happen. Be grumpy. Be grumpy. No. You're not going to be grumpy with... Oh, there it is. There's the grumpy. The ghost closed the car door. Hi, buddy. These guys are so weird. One of the weirdest snakes in the United States, in my opinion. A snake that is kind of everywhere and also few and far between. Um, in Colorado, their range is real, real spotty. Which kind of what makes me think they're weird is that they're just have such a spotty range um, generally in Colorado most species are confined to one area or another and these guys are just kind of all over but not everywhere at the same time super weird but anyways just a little fossorial here I think I might have lost one of these off the road um, but this is also a great sign uh, I think I mentioned this earlier but these are a snake that is commonly associated with milk snakes so um, if this guy's moving hopefully some milks will be too I forgot to mention this, but their bellies are pretty cool, too. This is weird, like, greenish-white with those cool crescents. That's awesome. All right. Whoa. I'm not even really close enough for you to be grumpy at there, buddy. Next up is a really, really handsome prairie rattlesnake. I love it when they get the dark outlines around those, uh, around those bands there, or those uh, diamonds, whatever you want to call them. He is primed to bite, but that is a great looking snake. Holy jeez louise. Um, I'm gonna grab, go grab a hook so I can get a few quick shots of these and I'll talk about them a little more. Man, that is a really good looking Veardus. Super high contrast. Um, although, southeastern Colorado does tend to throw a lot of snakes that look like this. Look at how flat that midsection is right now. Holy jeez louise. Not happy at all. <laughs> also, something else notable about this snake is when I found him, he was parallel to the road with just his head coming onto the road. So I just saw like a stump and I turned around thinking it was probably a stick, but I should probably take a look and sure enough, I'm glad I did because that is a really nice looking snake. Man, you know what I'm gonna do here? We will move on to the next one. Oh yes. Let me tell you how good it feels to see that alive in a road once again. Oh yes, that is a speckled king snake in the state of Colorado in an awesome, awesome locale. And it's not even that late. <laughs> I think he might have been hit by a car. He is a little funky. I think he might have got clipped right on the neck there. That is a speckled king snake in Colorado, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is our second one of the year. The first one was a little baby that I flipped, or excuse me, that Noah flipped while he and Steven were out here, but geez louise, how sweet it is to see that one more time. God, I was beginning to see, I think I wouldn't see an adult this year. Oh, there's a car coming. Let's get out of the road. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at, you can see my shaking on the screen right now. Look at that. I am shaking like a leaf. Oh my good God. That is so awesome. That is why I come down here time and time again. Yeah, there you can see readjusting that mouth, but I think he'll be okay. He's able to use that tongue. He's able to move competently, as you can see there. Look at that awesome speckling on the neck there. You can definitely see a little hint of a Desert King in that, but wow. Unbelievably beautiful king snake. From my favorite place to look for him, and a place that I have been dying to find one at night. Oh man, I'm gonna uh, get up here and photograph this guy real quick and then we will talk about him a little bit more after I'm done with that. After photos, I have concluded that this guy is going to be just fine. He's completely lively, a little awkward in the road. That just makes my ear. Whatever happens from here on out, doesn't matter to me. And this snake, one of the most lovely snakes I've ever had the privilege to find, so I have no words. This is so awesome. My favorite snake to look for, a snake that I have spent more time looking for than anything else. And God, he looks so derpy. Let me move him off the road. So here's a look at him not in the middle of the road. And if he will move, he's totally fine. That is absolutely awesome. This snake can get hit by a car and just shake it off. Absolutely fine totally unscathed which I mean besides if you look on his eye there his I'll put a photo it showed up really clear in photos but his eye the scale covering his eye is a little jacked up but besides that totally totally fine I am just blown away the luck to find a snake that got hit by a car that is totally fine that is as rare as this snake is or at least appears to me to be as rare as this is they might be way more common and I just suck at looking for them but <sighs> How sweet it is. That makes me so, so happy. Are we about to have a 3 a.m. drive home? We might. Because if this happened, why the hell do I stay? Anyways, I'm going to get a couple of in-hand shots of this guy. God, I'm smiling ear to ear right now. That is so badass that this snake literally got hit by a car not an hour ago and is totally fine now. How cool is that? God, I'm, I'm thrilled. I can go home happy for once, for once ever down here, I can say I night cruise a king. My biggest goal for the year after we flipped one. Whatever happens for the rest of the night, it's all right. Because I don't think there's anything I can do that will top that besides finding another one. I am about to hike about a quarter mile that way and release him so that he does not have to come near the road anymore, hopefully this year. He was headed this way, so I'm gonna move him over there and we will keep moving. Next snake of the night is a grumpy bull snake. <laughs> Just up the road from that king. How cool is that? I don't know if you can tell, but my enthusiasm for that king snake has spread to every snake that I find. I'm still shaking. But, got a bull snake. Pretty nice looking one, too. <laughs> and he's pretty grumpy. <laughs> How awesome is that? Hey, grumpy. God, look at that beautiful face. They're so cool. <laughs> he just wants to go, as you can see. He's putting out a bluff here by acting grumpy, but he just wants to move on his way. And hit him with the long nose. <laughs> What is going on tonight? There you can get another look. They do not move very well on this road. <laughs> awesome. Like I said, oh my god, let's get you settled down. Like I said a few weeks ago, these guys are a pretty rare find down here. Definitely not as rare as that king, but these guys are a pretty good find. Oh, car. I'm Wayne's World. Car! All right, game on. Any night with a long nose in Colorado is nothing to complain about. 
they get a little nicer than this. Um, and actually, a lot of their coloration seems to come out as they get larger, but I am not complaining. That is awesome. I'm not going to photograph this because with my camera because he's not working with me at all. Um, but I'm just going to release him after a few in-hand shots, and we'll keep rolling. See you later, kiddo. You have a good night. Thank you for making your presence known. Right back where we started with another line snake. <laughs> I don't think I have to tell anybody anymore that these guys are an indicator of things to come. Hopefully this one is the same, but um, I think I'm going to head home tonight. There's so many people down here that road cruising in the morning is going to be a nightmare, and basically every campsite in the county is taken up, so I think I'm just going to go home happy, but we're going to keep cruising until things officially die off and then we will leave and that's all she wrote for this one um last night at about 11:30, i headed back i am super super tired um i only got like six hours of sleep just totally beat but it was an amazing amazing weekend we had an amazing time um saw one snake that i have been waiting years to find just an absolutely wonderful time i am currently working on editing this video cannot wait to get it out to you guys if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe um, the bulk of my viewership comes from people that are not subscribed, and I would love to have you guys as subscribers and have you guys watching these videos regularly. So go down there and do that. Um, continue to watch more of these videos, and I will have an awesome one out for you guys next week.